Welcome back to Alone in the Dark. If you missed my first video on this game, make sure you check it out in the playlist. Without further ado, let's play! Detective Carnby! God, I'm, I'm glad to see you. I was afraid you had left. Me? You're the one who just disappeared. It's... <laughs> Hard to explain. I think I blacked out. I, it was like I went somewhere else. It's okay, miss. You're clearly upset. No, it's... I don't know what's happening. I, this is a very stressful situation for you, I understand. Ugh, no, you don't understand. Just take a deep breath. Why don't you sit down, smoke some of the Perique. If you want, I could even drive you back to New Orleans. I just want to have a talk with Dr. Gray first. I want to stay. I found a talisman just like the one in the painting. I think I might be able to figure out where Tarawea is, where Jeremy wanted to go. That's great. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Let me handle the investigation. Oh my god, she's just being patronized by a load of dudes. They were like, <laughs> yeah, okay. Lady. I'm not crazy, detective. Not yet. <laughs> okay, catch you later. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you crazy. You are mad. Well, he'll believe us when crazy stuff starts happening to him. If a talisman like this can open up doors between the French Quarter and Dorsetto, then maybe Jeremy is hiding in some strange other world. Like Tarawea, the place he mentioned in the book. No matter where he is, it's clear that my search won't be limited to Dorsetto. Hmm. So, have we got anything we can use? Oh, we can use Batiste's key now. Hello. So Batiste is just stuck in this other world. But we managed to get out because we found the talisman, or a talisman. Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right now it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. Oh, that's what that is. Right. That's a well. I just look like a hole in the ground. Well, well, well. <laughs> Staff and patient directory. Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me. Paul Waits. Magdalena Thompson, or Mags, is responsible for the household. Okay, that's enough of that. I don't want to listen to... I love the voice acting, but I do not want to just listen to a long list of names and job titles. We got a room key to number six. And if I paid attention to that thing that I just cut off, I would know who room, whose room that is, but I don't. But that's fine, because I'm just going to go around and try and open all the doors. And then we've got repairing the boiler, another clue. I saw you notice in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam pouring out. Be careful. White or white? Going to need a valve. I think we need that already. I need the key. Batiste's key is not going to work. And that, I assume... No, okay. We need a key. Oh, there's a safe. Looks what are they sturdy. hiding in here? I'll be opening this. Oh, you can change it. Interesting. Um, right. And then we've got some patient files. Can I open these? So we've got five different patients. We've got Cassandra Beauregard. She suffers from writer's block and needs to finish her moving picture script. She's a beloved crime author. Oh, she's the one that's going to come up with that movie. I got ya. Uh, wait, what is that? Five years ago, she tried killing herself by jumping off a balcony. We did find blood on a balcony. The incident left her a cripple and now relies heavily on a wheelchair. Oh dear. 
Oh, so, she, right, she's the one that wanted the drugs, but they're stuck in a cabinet. The drug abuse clouds her mind and she's unable to focus in real life. That's probably why she's struggling to write. Treatment plan. First of all, she needs to be weaned from her drug addiction. And I hope it will resolve her compulsive lying. I'm not going into too much detail of these because there's quite a few to get through. So I'm just going to skim read them with the important information. So then we have Grace Saunders. So she's the young lady, the young girl with the hat and the red hair. Mother insists on strict supervision to, wait, supervision by a proper gentleman to avoid further perversion of Grace's adolescence. What does that mean? Her father recently passed away, leaving her mother the sole caregiver. What, so she just sent her off to a hospital. She's struggling to deal with her father's death. She's suppressing her feelings. She needs nothing out of the ordinary she simply needs parental guidance yeah so what is her mum doing and then we have malcolm mccarthy oh we saw him he was the guy that we saw by the front door earlier he admitted himself he needs rest he claims to be a lawyer but he won't go into any of the details his background's a bit of a mystery he's an anxious man and an alcoholic he tells half-truths. He takes time to open up. Spending time with Jack's dog or the child. I mean, she has a name. She's not called the child. Her name is Grace, because I just checked that. And then we've got Elizabetta. Elizabeth, Elizabetta? Perossi. I don't know how to say that. She broke in here with amnesia. She insisted she belonged here. I wonder if people just turn up in this place from, like, the alternate dimensions shall we say and then they just end up being a patient she claims to be a member of the star artist colony 20 years ago she looks to be even thinks she's 33 years of age but that would make her a child at the time maybe there is some time travel going on or oh, there's the memory side of things right so if you go into someone's memory maybe it's kind of like time tra time travel Prossy's story is peculiar because she retracted her story about the artist colony. She no longer claims to be the same person as Elizabeth, Elizabeth Perossi. However, my staff's research has confirmed there was a Perossi at the time. Maybe she's retracted that because she realised how crazy that sounds, but that is her experience. I wanted to contact the real Perossi, but it seemed the whole colony disappeared one night, September 29th, 1915, during a hurricane. We'll have to take it slow and figure out what the spell of impersonation could have been and then the last person we have is ruth talent her father wishes that she is removed from new orleans nightlife they're worried that she will tarnish the family reputation unlike the rest of the family her sense of adventure has taken her around the world she's been a great war photojournalist last decade she has provoked many rumors of being a debauched flapper bordering on nymphomaniac. Despite her father's frivolous reasons for her to be admitted, Ruth does seem to provide an interesting case. She is refreshing. I mean, she's not there for your entertainment, mate. She's there, supposedly, because she needs treatment. She is admittedly a sexual deviant and feels no remorse. Yes. Good on you. I see. So that is signed off by... Chief Doctor, Dr. E. Gray. Okay, so he's right. Interesting. All the patient files except for Jeremy's. Yeah, that is a good point. Jeremy is missing. And then we got some Rorschach. Some Rorschach. I mean, it's a Rorschach painting. Okay, that's a new set. So they're giving us ones from all different sets at the moment. We're not getting any overlaps. We can't go in there. I wonder if we can use Batiste's key on the shed outdoors. Now, we just came from here, right? Yeah. Got ya. I hold it to open the map. What is making that... What made that noise? It sounds like there should be a... A clock. Like a grandfather clock. So, we've got a bunch of different things going on here. Um, we've got a key missing here, locked door, I assume that's what that means. Okay, it says it here, unlockable. Where am I? I'm in the stair hall, so let's go over here, because they say that's unlockable. 
Let, I mean, let's go upstairs. We've not gone upstairs yet, have we? Go on. A girl's got a snoop, and there is more snooping to be done. So t I hope that's the clock. Wait, that clock looks like the talisman. Mm. That's a crazy clock. Yeah, she's got nothing to say about that. Probably being polite. What's that stain? Looks like some kind of rot. Yeah, it's the trees. The evil tree people. This must be the clock mentioned in the commonplace book. This looks like the thing that held the talisman in the French Quarter, but it's broken and missing some pieces. Okay, well, I don't think we have anything to help with that. We have got room six key now, though, so that's good. And this was where Uncle Jeremy was. Locked. Right, let's check all the keys. All the keys, all the doors. Jeremy's room. Yes. All back to normal. All back to normal. There's another painting here, a picture. Is that us? Emily is here. So he knows we're here. Emily's here. <laughs> Glad that that uh, has some audio with it. That seemed really important. Maybe the little kid drew it. She's been in his room. It sounded like her voice, didn't it? And for some reason, they've boarded up that room. This place is in disarray. I would say. Well, this is quite empty in here, isn't it? There's not much going on. But there are bullets. Yes. I can't believe I've used like all my bullets already. They gave me so many. I've got a fountain pen. Oh, part two. Yes. But they did say that some of them you will not be able to complete. Oh, they're boxing. Uh, without playing both characters playthroughs so I'll try not to be too hard on myself if I don't complete them okay no can't interact with that fine also cannot interact with that so this is room six now, before we go in there, I'm just going to check if I can go in here. And that is a hard no. These doors, they're very impatient. What a strange but beautiful room. Yeah, it is. So, whose room is this? Room six. Parossi's room. The one that suffered partial amnesia. And claimed to be part of the artist colony, right? Okay, good. Now we know. Got context. Hmm, are these zodiac signs? Right, it's a clue. Oh, you can see my reflection in the mirror. <laughs> so I'm assuming that's part of a puzzle we need to work out. Parossi's journal. It's a clue. You may need to remember how to get them out again. They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. But not for long. I will see her burned soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. No more Derseto, and sadly Der no Astarte. Those good pirates of Pontchartrain. May you still sail the lake until you find the shores of Hali. Okay. So, ah, one eleven ten. So there's some numbers on these symbols. So Aquarius, Sagittarius, and Scorpio. I wonder if there's one other clue we need to work out which one is which. Or maybe they go in order of number ascension. I don't know. Ah, that's another clue, potentially. The Astarte Artist Colony. I'm pretty sure they had a Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates of Pontchartrain when I was a child. And they've got numbers next to them. Got ya. Whoa, is this the rock? Oh, this is a puzzle. There's some aggressive looking rot on these paintings. 
Mm. There is some aggressive looking rock. It's very aggressive. Oh no, that's the wrong one. That's a bit annoying. No. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, does it have to all connect? Like all the rot. You have to have all the rot on the outside. So this one. Hmm. I don't know why I did that. So I just turned them over so that um, the rot was facing out. But that's left us with three names. William Args, Franklin Mozig and Nora Keefe. So William... He's not even it. Oh, no, he is. Two. Franklin. Nine. Nora. Four. Two, nine, four. Well, I don't know what that means. Two, nine, four. So if we combine that with the... Where was it? Two, nine, four. Right, so this has got to be one, two. So Pisces. Nine. Libra, Taurus, Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Pisces, Libra, Taurus. It was like a U, wasn't it? Yes. Oh, here we go. The investigative genius strikes again. Broken plate. Ah, that is part, I assume, maybe for the big clock outside in the hallway? A piece of a larger decorative plate. It has a dark and burnt quality. Why? So I figured out the combination. Excellent. Let's go put <gasps> it. Those cockroaches have got significantly bigger. Oh. What is this? Ugh. Eggs or... Oh. No, thank you. What do I... What do I... What do I do about that? Okay, well, they're going to turn into monsters, right? Okay, no. Do I just... Like... Sh I can't walk on that. Can I go around this way? I can't. Oh! Ooh. Right. Oh, God. Ugh. Right, I see. The controls are a little bit... Okay, there we go. Oh, I worked it out. Ugh. Yeah, these have not improved with the new, envi new environment. What? This place is crazy! I tell you. Everything's back to normal. Yeah, everything is back to normal. Need one more piece, and then it's complete. So, if I look at the map, suddenly my Jeremy's is. bleak dreamscape devoured Emily. Drowning her in dread and darkness, only to moments later spit her out again. What had happened and why? Was that her doing, or did someone else make it so? Mm. So, we need to find a DeSerto's boiler mentioned in the commonplace book. I have found that. I need to investigate the well and repair the decorative plate. So, we've got a few different things going on. I see... Maybe let's head out into the garden. Right, I'm going to need a ladder for that. Okay. I'll come back for that, I think. Try the keys you got from Batiste. Ooh. Okay, so that was one of those, I guess, modern clues that helps you work stuff out.
Good evening, Miss Hartwood. That is your name, isn't it? I would be terribly embarrassed if it wasn't. You're right. Emily Hartwood, Jeremy's niece. Nice to meet you. Ruth. Ruth Talon. Is that Perrique you're smoking? <laughs> How terribly quaint. Maybe so. But I like it. Would you care to share some? That smell is making me feel very nostalgic. Is it all that you hope for? I enjoy your light mockery, Miss Hartwood. I can tell we would make great friends. How flattering. Too bad you're locked up in this place. <laughs> your insincerity is really refreshing. I wish you were mad as I am. Then you could stay. Give it a few years and I might just be. Lunacy is one of my family's few privileges. Oh, good. I'll be looking forward to it. You don't know anything about what happened to Jeremy, do you? Everyone here is really strange, and it's hard to know what to make of anything you hear. Occasionally, it sounds quite exciting, though. Good versus evil and all that. I'm sorry, but... I don't think I have anything useful to share. It doesn't matter. Thank you for the much-needed break. Bon voyage. I'm just gonna watch her smoke. Okay. Ooh. So we've got some notes. Emily felt surprised by how much she enjoyed the company of Ruth. There was something familiar and friendly about her. Like they were old friends that simply forgot about each other. Yeah, there does seem to be this thing about memories and... Sort of... Not time travel, I don't know, but... Overlapping... Lost Plantations of Louisiana. Lost Plantations of Louisiana. Thierry Bickel, 1917. There said there was a small plantation on the eastern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. The land was considered difficult for industry and was sold for only $30 to Elijah Pickford in 1818. Pickford employed hundreds of workers from nearby New Orleans to clear the woods and build a small plantation mansion facing the lake with a striking Greek Revival temple facade. Desato kept a modest production of Perique tobacco and indigo that persisted up till the Civil War. During the antebellum era, Desato was the source of many rumors concerning voodoo and witchcraft. People who traveled the lake reported seeing people dance at night in front of bonfires, bleating and wailing. On June 17, 1862, Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army recounts leading a raiding party from ships anchored in Lake Pontchartrain in order to seize control of Desetto and free the slaves working there. The captain was surprised to find the workers fighting back with unprecedented zeal. Norton's account describes these men and women as enraged with fanaticism. Pickford reportedly tried to placate the raiders, but was shot in the confusion. Captain Hi. Norton left the mansion burning and retreated to his ships with his men. Their seto was left in ruins for several decades. The ownership of the land was long disputed and returned to the Ledoux family in 1901. Several police reports were filed during the following years as the Ledoux tried to get rid of a camp of squatters on their land. The police made several visits to remove the trespassers, but the people kept returning. On November 1st, 1907, 
Inspector Legras of the police charged a deadly attack in order to save several children kidnapped by the squatters. Many were killed, and even more were jailed. The following year, Ledoux rebuilt Deserto, incorporating the surviving stone foundation and adding a magnificent wrought iron conservatory. The farmland had been reclaimed by the surrounding woods, so it was no longer profitable to use as a plantation. Instead, the house was turned into an artist's colony. The Astarte Artist Colony was a successful group of artists, including figures such as painter Heinrich Cassel and poet Nora Keith. The group was also known for their beloved Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates of Pontchartrain. On September 29, 1915, a tropical hurricane tore through Louisiana, causing Lake Pontchartrain to flood New Orleans. Due to the remote location of their settle, it took almost two weeks for outsiders to learn that the artist's colony was abandoned. The twelve residing artists had all vanished without a trace. The empty mansion of Der Seto still stands on the shore of Lake Pontchartrain, with much of its temple facade intact. The Ledoux family currently has no intention of repairing the house. Yeah, so it seems like there is some sort of time overlap here because the artist colony used to be in the house. The lady's room that we were just in, she claimed that she was one of these artists. So I wonder if all the different people in the house are from different timelines of what this house was used for. Hmm. I think is this a new route? I believe so. Ah, does this... Ah! Oh no, not again. What the hell is going on? There's something missing. It's chained. It's on fire. What is going on? Can't do that. So I need to get something. Is there something on one of these tables? It's like on fire, there's like sludge tar, I'm not sure. Bolt cutters, yes. I will take the bolt cutters. A horror game classic. You can't have a horror game without some bolt cutters. Right, let's cut these bolts and get out of here. This house be crazy. So it's I saved. don't understand what's happening. No. No, me neither. Oh, there's cookies. Can't eat them though. It's wet shut. Okay. I'm gonna have to find something that gets rid of wedges. Clearly. Like shove something under there and push it out. You wouldn't think you'd need a specific tool for that, but apparently I do. So, it was out here. This is where the well was. Hmm. She's out here now. She's grumpy what's it, this one. What is that? Is that a baby? What are you doing sneaking around? You almost scared me to death. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb your ritual. I wouldn't have guessed voodoo was in practice at a place like this. The doctor may be all about science, but I know these roots have power. Do you know what's going on here? I have a feeling Dorsetta was cursed. There are several players with stakes in this game. Dorsetto isn't cursed or blessed. It's a battleground. And it would all be a lot better if you could get your uncle out. Sooner than later. That's all I'm trying to do. I wish you the best of luck, Miss Harwood. I really mean that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to look after my gumbo. A gumbo? 
Oh, is that what we saw in the kitchen? In the big pot? Well, that's what she thinks of your ritual. She chuck a cigarette on it. Gumbo. Oh, we've got What's a new... That? One second. The housekeeper buried something in the flower patch beneath one of Dr. Gray's windows. She was singing in some Creole language, performing a peculiar bourgeois voodoo ritual. Certainly not an unfamiliar sight in the French Quarter, but voodoo had never felt this bitter to Emily. I've got to remember when I see that little icon, the writing on the page, to come in here and hear this, because these are great. I'm enjoying this. It's like having your own narrator. Bolt cutter. Can't. No. Okay, so we need to use something on that. Got ya. Do we need to like fill it with water? Maybe that's what we need to do. Right. One second. Oh, I've just noticed there's blood all over this as well. I mean, sorry, not blood. Cranberry sauce. So we can go up and down there now. It's like a little shortcut. Great. Right, so we don't need a key, so if we see a lock like that, we can just use bolt cutters on it. It worked. Just check in the area hasn't changed. Water hose. Excellent. It's a water hose. Now what's this? Now can we connect that over here, fill it up with water? And then we just need to turn it on. Broken plate. It is, yes. So how do we turn it on? Where is the end of this hose? I know it disappears over that way. Oh no, it goes over here. Okay. Look at this! It's a creepy what's it? Look, and I can't. Okay. Does that mean there's gonna be a beastie out here if it changes? Can I shoot it? There we go. Okay, no. Imagine if I shot it and it was like a cat. Oh my god, I'd feel so bad. We got another bit of broken plate. Stick that on the weird uh, clock. We're gonna leave that for now. We're gonna go down to the boiler and I'm gonna go back to that clock in a bit. It's another one of those plates for the talisman. It's also broken and missing some pieces. We've looked at this already, but for some reason that wasn't there before. Pieces of plate. You know, Mr. Waits, I saw a piece of the plate that Liza broke. I think she's been hiding them. She's not very good at it. She just chucked it into the little room with all the tools behind the boiler. I left it there. I didn't want to embarrass her by picking it up while she was looking. We went upstairs instead and played backgammon. I let her win because she's so unhappy. The piece looked like the one on display in Cassandra's room. You know about that one already, right? Or is your eyesight really that fuzzy? I hope you don't feel bad about your glasses. You only look stupid when you squint. Maybe if you had more eyes, you would see these things. I wish you had all the eyes you needed. Your best and favorite guest, Grace. So, now we've come back here, we've got some more information. We still need a valve, though? So, yeah, I guess we'll just leave that for now. She's getting all tired because I'm making her run around. Oh, she's gone. The brightness from afar. This is Vagabonds. Okay. Ah. Didn't see that last time. I must return. I did it. I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. My talisman now knows these roads, and I have no need for the plates. I can find my way to Lafayette as easy as I find my own room. I visited the grave of my father and seen the oven waiting for me. Thank you for opening these doors. I now must summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. I hope you'll be feeling better when I return. Jeremy. 
Jeremy. Right, let's do it. Broken plate. Music. I think I've seen this somewhere. Oh, have you now? Right, so I just looked at this, but there's more to it. Oh, you can play it. So he'll read this. How did you first come to understand such things, Signora? How did you know that the battered boil in the basement would lead me to Lafayette Cemetery? Or how the old upstairs clock with its astronomical motifs would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont Harbor? Those are my memories, my past. Is there perhaps a chance, if ever so small, for me to see Terra Wea? Oh, I want that more than anything. Please, let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with Juan under his Bodhi tree. Despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had to travel to Tonka. Instead, she cruelly told Baptiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way, that the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear, and that he would be devoured by his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. And then the last the one. The people of Deceto were becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up in treating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine and conversation? The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world. All will be lost. Everything. Unless I can find the clerk, Mr. Waite. He seems to be a clear-thinking man. Maybe Beauregard. Ah, you can, like, press tab to zoom in and look a bit closer. So I'm trying to work out what this has to do with... So there's the clock there. Hmm. Do I need to move these two? Are they in the wrong place? did it. I don't know what I was meant to do there. I just break. kind of made it all line up. Is this the clue? Maybe this is it. Three, four, six, maybe? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I'm overcomplicating it. It's just that is the clue. Oh, oh my God, I did it. Brute force and ignorance once something. again. That's just the hallway outside Jeremy's room, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It is. So that's where we're going to travel. I worked it out. I was overcomplicating it. Doesn't sound like me, does it? So it's down here. Uh-oh. Emily deserved a sense of triumph, but she was too on edge to appreciate her success. There was no reasonable explanation why the talisman let her open up this other world. Was this really happening, or was this somehow all in her mind? There was no time to question her own sanity. She had to find Jeremy. If he was here, she thought. Would she find Jeremy in the hateful mound? That is where he said this leads, so... Why? Oh. These doors, man, they're very rude. I did it. Right. I opened up another dream. Weird tales. Yeah, it's like a plant eating a person, the devil plant. Oh, I can see where this is going. Lots of birds, fire, swamp. Oh, and blood. 
Look for Jeremy inside the hateful mound beyond the oil rig. E, there we go. There was a <clears> button I had to press. Now, I don't think... Yeah, I only have eight bullets. I might have to get the old axe out. It's axe in time. Oh, can I cut this with my bolt cutters? No. Okay. Creepy. Why does he have such creepy dreams? Why don't he have, like, nice dreams, you know? The oil rig is very ominous in the background. There's like a horn on the wall. It's odd. Oil rig report. May 1923. Monday. All okay. Ready for delivery. Maintenance. Oil pump must be serviced. Any tampering causes large spills unless properly forestalled. Tuesday. Shipment delayed but delivered. Maintenance. Service bridge close to broken. Wednesday. Prospectors reluctantly agreed to show the burial mound to Mr. Hotwood, a painter, who read about our finds in the papers. He means to return tomorrow and try to find a way inside. Thursday. Mr. Hotwood's efforts delayed. The workers seemed nervous about his presence. Hotwood promised not to return to the compound. Instead, he has taken up an offer by L'Officier, the riverboat captain, who means to pilot him to the site tomorrow morning. Hopefully that's the end. Work can resume. Maintenance. The bridge from the oil tower to the bayou has collapsed. Sabotage suspected. Mm. This is the devil that guides us now. <laughs> Who was that? Okay, fine. So the bridge has been sabotaged and that's what we need to get to the oil tower. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Give me them bullets. Can I? No? I need the key. Okay. Out we go then. Back the way we came. Crouchy crouchies. Because could be monsters about. Right, so that goes over that way. That's where I'm eventually going to get to. That's for... to distract them. Do the old sneaky sneaky route, rather than Lock. shooting them. Ooh, sort of rattling chains. I wonder if they'll be the same monsters that we uh, experienced before. There we go. Okay, so you can unlatch them from the other side. Just in case, you know, we need a quick escape. And we got more health. So I think it was, was it G? Glug. I'm going to say G, G, G is Glug. That's what that means. That's how I'm going to try and remember it. Nothing to see in there. Oh. Ah, oh, it's a key. A jetty key. Very mm. nice. Nothing to see here. That's a bit different. I actually really like crocodiles, mm, I think they're really there's cool. There's something missing. There's something missing, and I don't know what it is. I mean, that's not what she sounds like, but that's what I'm going to say she sounds like. I wonder if having the torch out means she's easier to detect by enemies. <sighs> Won't let me up there. Right, but I've got a jetty key now, so is that for the place over here? Got Jodie Comer sprinting. AKA Emily. What is that? He's 
did a little dance over there. Well, they all like several of them. They're all like just having a nice little splashy time in the water. You know. Fair enough. I'll leave you guys to it. Just gonna be quiet over here. I do have bullets if you want to avoid involve me in your splashy time. I personally do not want to be involved in splashy time. What is that? Is that a oh that's a pipe. So I wonder why there's different melee weapons. Can you do they break? I haven't quite fully understood the purpose of some of these things. Okay, so that's the bri bridge lever or lever. Oh, oh lovely. Here we go. Mm, that sounded bad. And that's more health. So they're giving me a lot of health. They're still splashing about. Can y'all hear that? Someone's gargling. I'm going to drop down there and Im immediately whatever is making that horrendous noise is going to go for me. Alright, well, let's do it. Fuck <laughs> it. Oh my Jesus Christ. <sighs> the shitting hell was that. So he's <laughs> avoid the. Oh no, he mo he so he moves. So just avoid the gurgly dirt. Oh, he wants my giblets. Well, you can't have my giblets. I'm using them right now. Thank you. It worked. Well, I hope it did. It'd be a bit annoying, if it didn't, wouldn't it? Don't don't do that. That's a, that's just absolute nonsense. Making me think I was going to fall in the river there. Or the swamp, really. It's not really a river, is it? Look at it. It's pretty grim. Blech. Okay. Looks like toilet water. So. What are we actually trying to do? That is a good question. There's another pipe. They're expecting a lot from me here. I can tell. There's pipes. There's health. How am I actually doing for health? I don't actually know. That's medicine, right? So... Hmm, don't know. Maybe I should stop just drinking everything I find. I can't see my health bar, so... And I, I kind of feel like that guy got me earlier. Oh! No, I don't need to do that! What are you doing? Oh, for God's sake. Come on, Jody, Sort it out. I did not tell you to go. Out. Holy... Oh, got it in the head, though. Oh, I wanted... There was something up there. I saw it as we were leaving. Blew his head off though, didn't I? Look at it. It's like a weird little... Oh, look. It hasn't got legs. It's got like little pincers. Ugh. This is where I was a minute ago, right? I'm so confused. Oh, is this somewhere else? Maybe this is somewhere else. They just... All these areas look really familiar. So I've progressed. I can't go back. Oh, that's so annoying. It's like as soon as I just went near that window it just automatically chucked me out didn't even press a button oh well hopefully it was nothing important oh there's a can i smack them with spades yes yes we're sh we're gonna yeah we're gonna smack them with shovels right let's give this a test out <laughs> that's a, that's a quick shovel right there time to bury some monsters <laughs> No, we don't want the hammer, apparently. We'll have a shovel, but not a hammer. Nothing. Okay. So there's monsters in the mud. Oh, did I... I thought I 
saw something. No. Nope. I'm imagining things. Ah. Oh, another shovel. What's this? I don't want that. Nothing. I don't think I need... Okay, maybe I do. <laughs> I feel like every time I shot it, it was about to dive down, but then I just sort of like stun blocked it with my shooting. I don't know. Okay, well, I guess they're the thing with these guys is you don't want to get caught out in their environment right you just want to try and uh so give me bricks give me bullets what oh my god what, what is... no, smack it come on jody smack it yes yeah, oh do you look the shovel two hits to it. He got he got proper shoveled that one. I guess she was talking about and he's like to hit this. One. But I thought she was talking about the monster. So you know, it's Jody and her shovel versus the world. So that thing there that I saw. Oh look, they're having a nice little time as well. That um, I thought it was a crocodile, but it was probably one of those guys, wasn't it? I'm not going to shoot you. You're just living your best lives, you know. Who am I to judge? Now, is the shovel broken? Because I'm looking, there's a symbol in the corner there that looks broken. So maybe I was right. Maybe the shovels do break. In which case... Yeah. Yeah, this one doesn't have a little broken symbol next to it. So I was right, they do break. Right, that's good to know. Do love a shovel though. That's my weapon of choice at the moment. I do not trust these open bits of mud. I feel like monsters are going to come out. Oh, he's just having a little nap. Okay, well, don't mind me. If I make any noise, will it wake up? I just smack it with a shovel. Should I just go up to it and smack it? Is there anything else to see here? <sighs> Nothing. He's just, you know what, mate? I was trying to work out if those are items I want, but they're not highlighted, so I'm just going to leave him to his nap. Maybe if I hadn't been crouched, he would have woken up. Potentially. Oh, there's loads of them over there. It's shoveling time. Nothing to see here. not going to be any more dudes, are there? Huh. Huh. What are you hurting? Yeah, more bullets. I keep pulling this stuff out. I assume maybe things like items are randomly sort of generated. And that's why I'm finding things that don't have... Oh, I can't go under there. Okay. Don't have anything in them. There is a bell there. I wonder if I shoot the bell. What was that? What was that? What was that? Oh, there's one in there. Sneaky, sneaky. Here we go. Yeah. They just make kind of gross noises. That's the worst thing about them. They're very gurgly. Ugh. 
Now, do you reckon if I open that, he'll get mad? Oh, there we go. Just have a nice little sleepy. Oh, another lagnip. This is for the Beast of Burden series. Oh, it's just carpets. I don't want carpets. It's not helpful. Right, okay. Well, glad I did that. I guess it gave me a hidden item. Yeah, indeed. Now it's us versus the mud monsters. Let's see him there. I am intrigued to see if I can shoot that bell and what that will do, so I might just do it. Oh, well that literally did nothing. There's a nice bullet hole in the bell now though. Now, will sneaking help me? Press control to say, I'm already sneaking. It, the game hurt me. I'm already sneaking. I just have to try and not accidentally walk into them. This is like a little hidey hole. I guess so. There doesn't seem to be anything else in here. Let's do this. What is that over there? Oh, I wonder what it is. Maybe you should go check it out. Oh, that ladder's bugging, isn't it? Right, grab that. Definitely not me. Definitely not Jodie Coma sneaking about. Oh, there's another one sleeping over there. Oh, I'm getting stuck on the, getting stuck on the barrels. A bit stupid, aren't they? I thought there'd be another party of uh, dudes hanging out in the swamp over there, but no. No party. Just a little boat on its own. I'm still sneaking, because I don't know what's around the corner. This is definitely more of a sneaky level. Although those guys aren't too hard to kill, but you don't want to be... Damn it, there has to be a way to get to the other side. To get to the other side. I mean, I would assume that ladder over there is what I want to do, right? So I'm just going to sneak to the ladder. Oh my god, he's right there. I didn't see him. Oh my god. This is gonna make loads of noise. And I'm going up the ladder. I don't know if that's what I thought I meant. Whoa. Whoa, this place is on fire. E. Oh my god. I did not know. Yeah. I was about to set everything on fire. Well, I guess I don't have to worry about the enemies anymore. Because they're all on fire. I can't even see them. I don't really know. <sighs> now what? Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I said. Oh, I'm going to do a... I'm going to abseil. Oh, I'm like Emma from the quarry. Yes. What? Oh, I need a wire. I have a wire. Oh no, I need something for the wire. Right. Like a tough cloth. Just don't I'm a tough down, cookie. Boy. It's tough cloth. Let's do this. I mean, cloth does fray with friction. I was not expecting to do that. Well, if there was anything hidden, I don't have it. Oh, what's this?
Why? What is making that noise? I feel like as soon as I get in that water, I'm going to be bugging. It's like, it's like snarling and sniffing. What is that? Oh my god, that thing is massive. Is he blind? He's blind. But he's got good sniffing powers. Oh, he looks horrendous. Well, he's just out there. Well, I guess he sorted that monster out that was in my way. He got wrecked. Look at him. Wasted. <sighs> There's so many bangs and crashes going on. I don't think I can survive that, guys. So I'd better just stay as quiet as possible. Now, are these like offerings to the big monster man? Dead bodies. I can hear him sniffing. He's like a big mole. But a, like really fast, aggressive, spiny mole. It's the hateful mound Jeremy mentioned in his book. Right, well, I guess we're going in, right? Dead bodies, check. Hateful mounds, check. Big monsters, check. Let's do this. Jeremy, you dropped your... <gasps> what is going on? What is with people just attacking me as soon as they Mrs. see me? Marcus, get off of me. What are you doing here? Trying to find my uncle. Jeremy is your uncle? Could you please? Thank you. And it's Miss Hartwood. You don't remember me? I remember you, Mr. Bois. I met your brother, Batiste, earlier. <sighs> I suppose he hadn't found Jeremy either then. We spread out to find him. Can I have this? She's just staying down there. I'm trying to get to Tarawea. Fine, believe the rest. I just want Jeremy to come looking. We have to leave before it comes inside. What? Where? Come quick. Oh, God damn my soul. <sighs> right, so I think this is a really good place to end today's playthrough of Alone in the Dark. As always, I want to hear what you guys thought in the comments below. And if you've liked this video, I'd really appreciate if you could give it a thumbs up as that gives me and my videos a little bit of a boost. If you're enjoying the game, make sure you're subscribed to the channel as I plan to do weekly uploads. Until next time.